Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dan here, and um, I wanted to just make a quick video. It's kind of, you know, not really something that I normally do, but um, I'm in the process of kind of upgrading my Mac. Um, for those who know, or for those who don't know, I've got a 2012, late 2012, 21 and a half inch iMac. And uh, for those who are in the know, you are sort of aware that uh, basically what you buy is what you get. So you can't upgrade any of the RAM or the storage or anything like that. Um, lately I've noticed that it's just getting bogged down like my hard drive's too slow and uh, because I'm basically stuck with what I've got I've decided to go and buy a portable SSD drive so um, this is the Samsung T3 it is a 256 gigabyte SSD drive which connects over USB and basically what I'm going to do is install Mac OS X onto this to try and you know improve some some of my boot speeds and things like that so according to this it is it can get up to 450 megabytes a second and what i'm going to show is on my internal hard drive i've actually done a speed test on it and sometimes only get about 40 or 50 megabytes a second so i'm kind of you know anything above that is a benefit. I know I'm probably not going to get the 450 megabytes a second speed, but anywhere above what I'm at now is kind of going to be a benefit. Plus, I can install Pro Tools and things like that onto this hard drive and, you know, basically just kind of get a little bit of a boost. So let's see how we go. What I'm going to do first of all is actually show you the speed that it, you know, how long it takes for this Mac to boot up, um, to boot up, you know, from from standard on the internal you know 500 5400 rpm uh, hard drive that i'm using um but we'll <laughs> we'll see because i haven't really i don't really know how how well it's going to work if it's going to work but we will we will see so let's have a go right so at the minute my mac is switched off fully shut down i'm going to click the button uh, when i move garfield out of the way i'm going to click the button now so that's it booted up until the just up to the desktop anyway at this point you know things are still loading in of course you know this is something that um maybe my my mac's just a little bit more bogged down than than other people's uh, I understand that this isn't going to be like a, a true comparison type of thing because when, when we install it onto the external, we are going to be installing a, a fresh version of macOS. So, um, you know, it isn't going to be directly comparable, but I just thought I'd make a video just kind of explaining the differences, I guess. So uh, now that we've got to this point, I'll be able to start, you know, plugging the plugging the hard drive in, getting it formatted and getting ready to go. Right, so... Uh, We've now booted up all properly. Everything is uh, correctly plugged in and whatnot. So this is gonna. I, I hate having to use this bloody camera for this and not being able to, you know, actually screen capture and things like that. But what we're gonna do now is open up Disk Utility because it's all, you know, because it is all connected. As you can see up here, I've renamed it to SSD. Um. What we've got to do is just make sure that it's set up in the right format to be able to accept, uh, what will it be? You know, to be to be able to actually have OS X on it, because it's got to be formatted in a, in a specific way. You know, it's got to be the right um, the right data structure and things like that, so that it will work. Um, so what we've got to do is just grab hold of the the full thing here. We're just going to erase everything on it um, we'll just again call it SSD it's pretty much set up the way it is meant to be you know OSX extended journaled and a GUID partition map that will allow us to install OSX onto it so we will erase it it'll just do that dead quick because again you know SSDs are fast so there's that what we're going to do now is we have to restart the Mac again. And when it restarts this time, after the bong noise, we have to hold the Alt key on the keyboard 
and that'll allow us to go into the uh, kind of the boot setting. So I will be back when we get there. And then hold down the alt key after the bong. If you look over here, you wait for it. Wait for it. I do apologize for how like poor <laughs> uh, production quality this is. So hopefully after we in like we install all this, everything will start working a lot smoother than that. So um wonder why my mouse isn't working. There we go. So we've got to choose the network. Let's get us onto the right one. One second. We have to do that. Put our password in. I think that was the password. It was. And then what we do is go over to recovery. Boot from there. And then that'll now boot us into the recovery section. So... All this is going to now do is, with the recovery partition on the hard drive, we can say, right, we want to now install a fresh version of this. You could do, this is what you want to do, you know, if you want to kind of wipe your main hard drive. So say, for example, if I just wanted to do a fresh install of OS X, this is one way that I could do it. I could boot into the recovery drive and then just say, well, I want to reinstall it onto my internal hard drive hard drive if that makes sense uh, it might just take a little while right so now we are greeted with this page where we want to select reinstall OS X once again I do apologize for the uh, autofocus I don't know how to turn that off on this camera so I want to reinstall a new copy of OS X uh, from this point it's gonna be El Capitan because that's the one that we're on uh, we have to kind of just do like a verification check which is all standard procedure we're going to agree with your terms and then we're going to choose SSD so as you can see that's the one I've just formatted and we go install and now basically we wait and we wait a pretty long while I'm going to have to do a, a sign in but after we sign in, it's going to just start installing, downloading the new version and installing, which could take a while. So I will be back when it's all done. Right, so it's finally uh, installed. Took about an hour or so. Uh, we are back to shaky, unfocused camera, so I do apologize. Um, I've just opened up the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. It's free from the App Store. Uh, I'm just going to go into the wrench, go select Target Drive. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly run a speed test on the internal hard drive. Um, just so you know, now that that's installed, I would technically have two OS X like, installed at this point. And I'm still just running on the internal one, just for now, because uh, I'm just making sure that I've got everything backed up properly. Um, so yeah, right, we'll choose the uh, desktop, which is obviously still in my internal hard drive. I'm going to choose that and then click start and then you'll see the write speed and the read speed so we click start so talking about about 70 ish that was the write speed the read speed will be a little bit quicker usually so you're talking about 70 there about um, now we're going to select target drive and use the SSD and then we'll go from there and let's see what this gets. Okay, so, wow. So you're talking about 385 on the re uh, the right and whoa, talking 428 on the read speed. So that's a hell of a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Uh, wow. I didn't expect it to go that high, if I'm honest. But... I will obviously take it. So the only other thing that I need to do now is just boot it up uh, off the SSD, and I'll show you as what that speed is going to be like. Um, what I'm going to do, if you go into your system preferences, and when this opens up, you can choose the startup disk that you want to use. So you just cl click down onto your startup disk. Uh, you've got to put your password in to do this. 
So just put the password in. Choose the different startup disk. As you can see, you know, I've still got two. Uh, there we go. All right, so it's allowed me to swap over to the SSD. Click on restart. Restart. And we'll see how fast this comes up. It'll look different uh, when it boots, just because it'll be open on a brand new, you know, a complete fresh install, so it'll be the default backgrounds and whatnot. So it's still just shutting down at this point. So now it's off. And there we go. So I don't know how, how long that took. Again, it'll be faster next time I do it. Booted up all my drives. I say it's all default, but say for now, if I open up Safari, it's on and ready to go immediately. If I open up Mail, it's ready. And that's exactly why I did this. You know, I didn't want to... I'd open things on the other hard drive and it would take absolutely forever. So I'm very, very glad that uh, that's going to happen. I thought I'd make this video. I'll uh, think it all together, you know, edit it all together, see how it turns out. Uh, thanks all for watching. Hopefully this has been somewhat informative. I doubt it. But uh, yeah, thanks again, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.